Okay, now despite what everyone says about eBay triggers, uh, let's go see if we can find a new set. Do do do. Yes. So these are the uh, the wireless eBay triggers that I've just purchased. Uh, I like the uh, look of these, and uh, someone actually uh, commented on one of my YouTube videos. He received them, and they were very positive um, with their findings as far as uh, misfires and stuff. Nothing uh, misfired, 100% fire rate. So, I just wanted to show uh, show you all. Uh, this is uh, the eBay merchant HK Young Nuo Photo Equipment. Uh, that's the eBay store. So, forty bucks shipped. Uh, so, just ordered these. Uh, it's going to take a while to come in. Uh, they're shipping from Hong. Okay, so about 11 business days later, I received my uh, new CTR301 eBay flash triggers in the mail. And I just wanted to take this time, an opportunity to uh, show and tell what this uh, trigger looks like, uh, how it functions, and some uh, testing results. This particular package did come with uh, uh, one transmitter, and this transmitter is very low profile. You notice that uh, dip switches on the bottom here for the uh, frequencies are flush. Uh, there is no nut for the uh, hot shoe, but it's very snug on my Canon 30D. Um, and it requires one of those small uh, 2 thirds A 12 volt uh, batteries. Now for the receiver end, there are two receivers in this package I ordered. <clears throat> this is... Uh, uh, a major change from the uh, uh, vertical style cactus V2S um, triggers. Uh, again, the uh, dip switches on the bottom are flush. You've got your tripod mount screw here. Battery compartment, it uses those uh, um, lithium uh, CR2 batteries. Not exactly fond of that. Um, I will say that when I received this from eBay, um, Pretty much every battery was a volt under nominal uh, no load voltage. So uh, when I first tested it out, I was um, uh, a little worried because only one trigger worked and the other trigger only worked about half the time. After testing with a multimeter, I found out that all these batteries were bad. Uh, <clears throat> on the side of the uh, side of the receiver, what you see here is a test button. Uh, you do have an off switch. W is for wireless and L is for light sensor. If you switch it to L, this sensor here will trigger the flash and send trigger voltage to the flash from another light source. Um, and you also have an indicator here, a little red LED that flashes to indicate that it's receiving signal. Now here's the other, other, uh, other receiver mounted to a uh, 430EX Canon Speedlight. Um, this is kind of this is this is uh, one of the features I really like about this uh, flat lower profile on the uh, on the receiver is you could stand it on a flat surface just fine and it's very sturdy. But notice how I have the head 180 degrees from its normal position. If you are in normal position, it's top heavy and it will it will topple. So just flip it around, bounce it however you want, sit it on the ground works fine that way. Something I saw on the uh, photography on the net Canon digital photography forums, someone was using the Joby uh, Gorillapod and uh, there, uh, there are triggers on that which I think is a great idea because I bought this for 
my first SLR, which was a Canon XTI, and it was just not sturdy enough. But this is the SLR version. This will be perfect for a, uh, uh, a fill flash, background light flash, whatever I wanted to use it for or attach it to something nearby. Now the whole reason why I decided to go with uh, the new CTR301 eBay flash triggers is because someone responded to uh, my antenna mod for the Cactus V2S system. Um, and he uh, told me about these new eBay triggers. He got them in and uh, he tested them, although he was using Nikon. Uh, all the tests were very favorable for him. Uh, so I took the plunge and ordered the uh, 301s. What I experienced with the Cactus V2S versions <clears throat> is um, it's the same type of system, two receivers, one transmitter. Um, these were uh, very unreliable, actually. Um, very disappointing because I had a uh, I have a 430EX and a 580EX, and at least 30% of the time, um, one of the flashes would not trigger. So I had misfires all over the place. That's my understanding that uh, the V2S's, Cactus V2S's, um, um, have issues with the Canon speed lights. So I'm assuming that's what I ran into. This is just to give you a comparison. Here's the transmitter uh, and receiver for the Cactus V2S. And here's the uh, receiver and transmitter for the uh, CTR301s. One other thing I want to note with the uh, CT301s is the uh, tripod mount on the bottom. Here's my uh, light stand uh, lug uh, with the normal 20 threads per inch, uh, quarter inch coarse um, uh, bolt. It will screw into this, it does screw into it, but it's really, uh, it's really weird. Um, um, it's almost like the threads are a little tighter on the, uh, on the receiver end. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe it's something I just don't understand with these lugs. But when I take a normal 20 threads per inch coarse quarter inch uh, bolt and thread into here, <clears throat> it threads very smoothly. So um, I'm not really sure what's going on on there. Maybe, uh, maybe these lugs are... Uh, uh, not to spec, I'm not really sure. Last thing I want to say about these are my tests. I'm running a 430EX Canon Speedlight and a 580EX Canon Speedlight. Um, these fire in normal conditions, 10, 15 feet away, flashes anywhere from uh, uh, 4 uh, to uh, 10 feet apart, 100% uh, of the time, indoor and outdoor. Uh, I was very satisfied with that. Um, so satisfied I think I'm gonna buy another set uh, just so I have a spare transmitter and um, a third receiver uh, instead of buying just a third receiver you know you can get two receivers and a transmitter for just uh, uh, for just double the cost of a single receiver so that's a better buy um, I did outdoor test 30 to 35 feet is the maximum range uh, for this set which is more than enough for me for what I do. I'm sure someone will probably come out with an antenna mod like I did with the Cactus V2S's. I also did a test indoors, um, five feet around a corner and then I was about 10 feet uh, around the corner with my camera. 100% success, no misfires on that. So uh, the signal does transmit through um, some solid materials. No definitive testing, but I can tell you that I'm uh, way more satisfied with this version, flash trigger, the CTR301. Thanks.